So this lovely stick you can see right here is the Hori Fighting Stick Multi. Now you might be thinking that's a bit of a weird name, and it is. I originally bought this for use on the PC Engine, mainly because the PC Engine pads are so short. But this particular stick can be used on the Sega Mega Drive and the Super Famicom. But how you say? Well, if we take a look around the back, you see there's actually a small port here. And what you do is you get the cable for each system and you can connect it here and then connect the other end to the appropriate system. As you can see, this is for the PC Engine. Now, not only is this stick good for multiple systems, but it's also a very good stick in general. The main uh, joystick part is very responsive and it senses quite well also. The buttons, while not micro switched, do have a nice bit of travel on them, not too much, not too little, and they feel extremely solid. Another good point about the stick is there's an automatic uh, turbo option for each individual button, which could come in handy for say uh, some shooters where you've got to keep hammering down the button. Across the top of the stick there are a few extra buttons, I'll just put it upside down so it's in frame. We have a TR select, I'm not too sure what that means. And then we have slow motion button switch here, which is actually just pausing the game on and off. Start and run, mostly for the PC engine but the Sega Mega Drive would use that. And then again so with the Super Famicom. And then we have select and mode, which the Sega Mega Drive wouldn't use, unless you're using six button games. That would be your mode button. Now, I'm actually uh, going to take this stick apart because it does need a good clean. So I thought maybe some people out there would be interested in seeing what's inside this little beauty. Because to be honest, a lot of joysticks from the 16-bit age were pretty crap. But this is a quality one, so let's open it up because it's going to be opened up anyway because it needs a bloody clean. So on the base of the machine we just got your standard screws, so in goes the driver and we'll take them out. So all the screws are out, let's open this baby up. Okay, let's see. Well, that certainly explains why it's quite heavy. Man, I didn't actually mention that before, did I? But this is quite a heavy stick, <laughs> and now I know why. Jesus Christ. What is that, steel? Man, that, that is a big chunk of steel in there. Oh man, listen. Now we know why this stick is heavy. Oh, bloody hell. I did not expect to find two big rods of steel stuck in the bottom of it. Oh god. Okay, but anyway, as you can see, it is disgusting. Just look at all this crud stuck in here. Oh yeah. Eee. Now I did buy this off Amazon and it was, uh, sorry not Amazon, Yahoo Japan auctions. And it was sold as junk, but um, it does work 100% actually. But yeah, when you see something sold as junk, you do know it needs a clean. Oh god. <laughs> Okay, well let's take a look at the main uh, board, okay. This part is extremely light. Okay, so here you can see the um, main stick. Yeah, it's got a square gate on it. Um, but yeah, it is eight directions. You can see the little micro switches here in the corners. Not bad at all. So I'm presuming underneath here is gonna be a standard uh, PCB with those little rubber um, connecting things, whatever they're called. Yes, you can tell I'm certainly not uh, a technical-minded person. Okay, let's uh, open this up. Actually, I like the way it has a nice little connector here, uh, which won't come off. But yeah, that certainly make modding and adding a new uh, micro-switch board to it a lot easier, I would imagine. Okay, let's just take a look at this because it's got to come off because it needs to be cleaned. Okay. Yeah, as expected, it's just a normal board. Got a little chip on there. Right, let's see if we can get that in focus. There we go. There it is. 
It says uh, Hori on it, so it's a custom Hori chip. And yes, as you'd expect, the standard uh, little connecting pads there on the buttons. But all these are coming out because they all need to clean. Okay, so that is the actual uh, Hori multi fighting stick. A very nice stick, but one that needs clean. Just a quick edit here. Taking a look at the micro switches, they're actually Omron switches. I didn't expect to see Omron switches in a Hori joystick. And actually, they all come out as well, so they can be uh, changed for a different brand if you'd like. I'm going to keep these ones in because they're very nice. Okay, let's go and get this baby cleaned up. Now you may have a case where you need to clean the circuit board and you know, you can't really put water on a circuit board so what are you going to use to clean it? Well, I recommend picking up something like this. This is what's basically called electronic cleaner. And as you can see, you can use it on uh, the terminals on a car battery even on the electronic components of a car and what we're going to use it for, circuit boards. It's non-conductive and it works on pretty much anything that's electronical. Electronical, is that even a word? Electrical, that's what I mean to say. Usually these type of things come with a little straw, a bit like WD-40 really, which you can attach to the nozzle and just spur on the components as needed. But um, yeah, taking a look at this particular board, I don't think it's uh, in need of a clean to be honest. It's, uh, yeah, it's perfectly fine. So no need to give this a clean. But like I said, if you do need to clean, get yourself some electronic cleaner. So you're probably wondering what's the best way to wash this joystick? Well, nothing special really. Better warm soapy water. And then we just throw everything in, yeah. Get under that water. Now it is very handy to get yourself a soft bristle toothbrush. Not a hard one mind you, a soft one. Because that gets into all the little grooves and uh, little cracks that you have in these uh, joystick buttons. As well as the actual uh, grooves and cracks in the case. As you can see you can get well in there around all the little corners. Get all that grime off them, keep them nice and clean. Also on the inside of the case, especially around the uh, areas where the buttons go, you'll find uh, some sort of uh, orangey gunk at times. So a toothbrush really gets that stuff off really well. Also around the uh, corners of the case as well. Another good thing about using a soft brush or toothbrush is it gets into all these little cracks and grooves around the joystick cavities. And of course when you've got recessed writing or writing that's sticking up on a console case or a joystick case, the toothbrush gets in there really really well and takes off all the little bits of rubbish stuck between the letters. And there you go, you can see it's looking much, much better already. Nice and shiny. Don't be afraid to get your fingers in there and um, even between those uh, buttonholes a nice little scrub. Make sure they're nice and clean. And as for the little connection pads, you don't really want to put them in the water so just give them a little bit of a, a rinse. Um, with the uh, corner of the cloth. And then when you're finished, put them on a towel to dry. And here's a photo of the stick I took after it was cleaned. As you can see, it looks a lot better and a lot more shiny now. Ready for some more gaming. <laughs> 